Hi everybody, it's fall here in the States and the leaves are falling off the trees and it's getting colder and colder outside and that means we're looking for a good source to keep our house warm. Now the best way to keep your house warm is to heat your house with solar and I'm going to share with you how to do that. But first I thought we should probably go over some of the options most people think about which would be maybe uh, geothermal. Geothermal is extremely expensive and it's a pretty big fad right now. And if you get geothermal, it could run you anywhere from twenty to fifty thousand dollars to have it fully installed. And you still have an electric bill of anywhere from a hundred to seven hundred dollars depending on the size of your house. So if you're thinking about geothermal, it's an extremely expensive route, not efficient, and definitely not cost effective. A uh, cheaper route would be then maybe to just do electric, but even that runs pretty expensive for most of us. And you might also think about then to do a pellet stove, and that's not bad, it gets the cost down, but again you're still paying for the cost of the pellets, and a pellet stove is a couple thousand dollars, so pellets are probably have to run, you know, uh, 300 a ton. So there's a cost there. And the other option maybe you could do is a wood stove. Wood stove is pretty good, and, but again you have to pay for the wood and have a wood stove installed. Which is cheaper than a pellet stove but still a cost. And of course there's like natural gas which is pretty much uh, a little bit cheaper than electric in most areas but still not very cost effective. So the best option that I found is to use solar and I'm going to show you my system and how that's working for us. Here we are, these are my panels I got set up and all we did was buy this mini split over here. Now this mini split you can get for anywhere from $500 to $1000 and uh, we bought ours off of eBay, so you can shop around and get a good deal. And if you have panels already, it's a piece of cake to set up and just hook up to your panels and done. But if you don't, you're starting from scratch thinking about getting this. Um, the cost is, uh, you're probably looking at about four panels, four to six panels, and maybe four batteries so you can run it 24-7. And the total cost would probably run you around maybe $3,000, three to five definitely way cheaper than uh, geothermal and about the same as any of the other options we already covered. So let's go inside and I'll show you how it's working in my house. Okay here is my mini split inside and right now we have the temperature set at 90 degrees and at 90 degrees my house is not 90 degrees it is about 70 degrees in here which is perfect for us so we run it about um, all day. We've had it on since this morning, and it's really nice and warm in here. It, it does about 1,100 square feet, and it has kept a whole 1,100 square feet nice and warm. We not have any complaints about that. And we also used it all summer for the air conditioner side, and it works best for the air conditioner. It's awesome. So right now outside is about 30, 45 degrees, so it's keeping our house nice and warm at that temperature so it's about 70 so if you're thinking maybe doing some gardening inside or doing a grow tent or something it would definitely be able to handle that you know with this mini split and it's definitely cheaper because there's no cost you just plug it into your solar panels and done there's no electric bill there's no fuel you have to buy for this and I wish we found it sooner because it's doing an awesome job we really like this so if you guys are thinking about getting this, please let me know how it's working. It's, it's working awesome for us here. On oh, the mini split here, it works down to temperatures down to about 10 degrees. So if you're in an area that it doesn't get too cold, then it uh, works constantly. But for us, I live in an area it's going to probably get down in the negatives this winter. So it might not work for me all winter, but for most of the winter it'll do the job. So I'm very happy with this. And if you're thinking about buying it, that's the only con that I can think of is if you're in a too cold area, it might not work in the very cold. But 
it's working for any other area and even in my cold area so uh, go ahead and try this and leave a comment below